What is up, everybody? Angry Wolf Cup Gaming here, and we are back with another episode. Well, why do I say episode? We're back with another video, and we're here doing a new thing in the channel. Maybe it's going to be a new thing. I might do it with other players, but I think it's just going to be a one-off video. In this video, I have decided I'm going to go ahead and try to make Federico Chiesa one of the best players here in FIFA. How is this gonna work? Well, it could it could be like one of those things B4 does. Uh, shout out to B4. Um, if you don't know who B4 is, you're probably living under a rock if you're watching FIFA content. Anyway, he what he does is these resims basically, where he resims the player and does all the stuff. Now the thing is, he's using mods and stuff. I'm over here not using mods. I want to try something different. So wherever I go, Kiesa goes. But the thing is, I'm not gonna be switching teams every season. It's going to be probably five seasons, but the thing is, my goal is to win at least one Champions League in one of these teams, wherever we go. So the thing is, if Chiesa can't win a Champions League in Piemonte Calcio, aka Juventus, he's going to go ahead and move, make his way into a different team wherever I want to go, wherever offers we get, we're going to go ahead and just uh, probably negotiate with them and all that stuff. So, and another thing, we could sign up to three players every season. What, it could be three transfers every single season until season five, or once we win a Champions League, or whenever this video ends. Let's get to it though. Juventus, we is where Federico Chiesa plays at at the moment. He's actually on loan in this team in the game, but I'm not sure how if it's he's still on loan. I think they are about to buy him or anything like that, but I think they should. Either ways, Federico Chiesa is gonna probably is gonna sign the Juventus contract. We're gonna sign him into the team. I'll see you guys here in a bit. And let's go ahead and check out the team. All right, guys. So we're at the moment, I just signed Federico Chiesa into Juventus because he needed to sign. Now, he is 23 in the game, but he's actually 24 in real life. Now, when I was reading through it, he was actually injured at, at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and put in a developmental plan. But the thing is, I think we're going to get his shooting up. We're going to get the inverted winger up and see if we can make his shooting really good. I think that's one thing we can do. Uh, another thing we got to work on his pace is one thing I do think we should really work on which where would it be uh i it would be in physical probably right no physical now nah, it's pace his pace is good oh wait what the heck i did not see his pace i am apologizing for that but i want to get his weak foot up and then maybe next season we're going to go ahead and focus on the skill moves because the skill moves is important too but i do think we're going to work on that for this season so that's going to be one thing now the thing is what are the transfers we're going to go ahead and make we're going to make like a couple transfers of course three transfers um, and I'm hoping we can make these transfers good. Now I'm going to switch the formation a little bit. We're going to make a Dabala a cam. Um, let's go ahead and make Dabala a cam, and let's go ahead and put it in Kiesa because apparently he is injured in real life. So that makes sense why he's over here. That Quadrado is a good player. We're going to keep most of these players. Uh, I'm going to make Zakaria. Now Kalini, I forget Zakaria actually just made the transfer to MLS. So we're good. We might as well sell Kalini as we're at it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to find a new left winger. I think that's one thing we're going to confirm. Locatelli keeping Zakaria is going to go ahead and be a center back. And uh, but the thing is what do we look for a left winger i need to sign some players that's the thing so yes we're gonna have to get probably get rid of rabia but i don't even know do we get rid of rabia i mean we have arthur arthur kind of has the potential to be good wherever he is he is right here so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of rabia it's going to be that thing um that's one player i think we'll keep danilo uh and uh i'm not gonna resign anybody probably till the end of the season now we're gonna sell Kalini. i'm gonna go ahead and keep bonucci uh Ruggini, we're gonna keep him is there any other players that we want to get rid of pellegrini nah, 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 nah. i don't think there's anyone else we could really get rid of i think we could go ahead and put kyle jorge in alone or something like that and we're gonna go ahead and put Dybala, convert him into a camp. Now the thing is, in real life, Dybala is leaving Juventus this season, so that is one thing. So we're gonna go ahead and make this thing. I'm gonna be right back if I make any transfers. So give me a bit, guys, and let's go ahead and continue on and see who our first transfer is going to be. And we're gonna go ahead and get our first signing, probably, and only signing for the season is gonna be Marcus Rashford. He's gonna go ahead and sign for us. We give them Bernadursi as well. Now the thing is, also, you guys are saying, hey, wait, didn't you just sign? Kiesa as well listen that doesn't count okay 
but we signed Marcus Rashford. He's going to be our left winger for the season, and I think that's what we're going to go ahead and just go with. It's either or. I just probably going to make some transfers to go out at the, at the same time, but Marcus Rashford, we're going to go ahead and bring him in, but bam, bring him there. Uh, either way, I wish we had like Moses Keenan, those Tusk squad, and Morata because like at the same time, we could sell them for money because I don't use those strikers. I have Vlahovic, and Vlahovic could be just great, but I just want Chiesa to be the one who's going to be better. Like I said, uh, I'm switching people's positions. positions. So Zakaria is going to be a center back. Uh, Arthur's going to be a center mid. I think we're good. I think we're good with this team, but like by next season is going to be where we focus more on the defense and all. So yeah. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys at the end. Of, I'll let you guys know if any other transfers happen. If not, I'll see you guys at the end of this transfer window and let's go ahead and continue. So we go ahead and finish this transfer window up. We ended up just signing Rashford, like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and, and show you guys the players I ended up selling uh, because we sold a lot of players. So we ended up, okay, so the Yelp Academy kid, I had it, I had to go ahead and put him in. Rizzi, we're going to go ahead and put him in. Now, you know what? For these type of ones, I'm going to just go ahead and sign every Yelp Academy player because, like, why not? I mean, I might as well I, 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 if I'm not going to use the... The thing is, I don't even know if we're going to go even be in um, Juve by the end of this uh, season. Because if we win Champions League by this first season now, the thing is, I'm going to give each team at least two seasons. How about that? So, I'm going to spice up the rules. Make each team two seasons. So, this first season. This is going to be our first season. We win it this first season. Hey, we win it. But if we don't win the next season, we don't win the next season. That's going to be... So, I'm going to give it six seasons, actually. So... There'll be like at least three different teams to make uh, a, a difference, you know. So I think, yeah, so we ended up signing only Rashford. So let's go ahead and back, go back into it. So Reezy, we go ahead and sell him, send him on a loan. He's the Young Academy player we have. Kai Jorge, we sent him on a loan as well because, yeah, uh, why not? Kilini, we sold him to PSG for 12.2 mil. And we ended up getting Rashford, of course, like I showed you. We also sold Arabiath earlier this season as well. So that's really much, that's all we happened. And we have 55 mil, so that could really work for the next season or for the January transfer window. It doesn't even matter. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is, of course, the players are just fine. I'm going to go ahead and send them on alone because I'm not going to use them. Like, what the hell? You think I'm going to use the players that I don't even, uh, have never even used? Like, what? Like, come on, guys. <laughs> uh, PSG. So we're going to put them on the loan list, and I'm going to really work on them in the the, the, the January. So I'll be back with y'all in January at the end of it. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. So I'll see you guys by January. We're halfway into the season. I didn't make any transfers by January. I just go ahead and keep it like this. Um, nothing new, as you guys can see. Kiaz is an 87, though. Uh, but we're not going to review his stats until the end of the season. We're just going to go ahead and continue. We're going to go with all in. Uh, we also got Champions League as well. I believe we have made it to the next round as well. As at least, yes, we are going to be facing Sevilla. Uh, I'm not going to be going through it. I'm just going to go ahead and just go for it and sim. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys. So we're at the end of January. I mean, not January, the end of the season number one, and we're going to go ahead and win the Sierra. Ah, let's get it. Oh, my goodness. The first trophy of the season. And we're going to go ahead and check out Federico. He has the stats right here, and he's going to go ahead and get 24 goals and five assists in the season with eight clean sheets. But Marcus Rashford over here getting more goals than him. Okay, so hey, I mean we kind of I mean, did rebuild this team at the same time. We did simulate everything, and of course he has Vlahovic. Did he hit twenty? I mean Dybala got. I think Dybala did best this season. But he has uh, getting twenty four goals, five assists, and clean eight clean sheets. I'm gonna go ahead and write this down at the end of it. But as you guys can see, he did go up by four, so he did go up. By a lot, so hey man, he could hit the 99 and hit so 90 by the next season. And let's go ahead and check out the developmental plan. How did it end up going for him? And his shooting went really up. So I think the next season, when I'm gonna focus on more on him, is probably his skill moves because we got to get that up in the passing. So that's one thing we got to get Kiesa up for next season. Uh, we want to try to get more assistance stuff, but at the same time. 
we're gonna go ahead and uh can we sign these guys yeah yeah we can sign these guys so let's go ahead and sign them because i'm not gonna worry about them they're not even gonna be worried it's like these young players we're only focusing on kiezo because i i think kiezo is gonna be one of the best in italy i'm just saying this so that is the, the Sierra A. Now we're going to go ahead and check out did we win the Supercoppa? We ended up winning the Supercoppa, of course, the Coppa Italia. We ended up losing the Coppa Italia. Where did we end up going? How far? Round of 16, losing to Venezia. Ah, man, that sucks. The Supercoppa, of course, we weren't even in it in the Champions League. We win the Champions League by season number one. Oh my goodness, Juventus win it by season one. And we beat Dortmund to get there. Oh man, well, I did not mean to do that. We beat Dortmund to get here. We beat Liverpool. We beat Sevilla as well. Topping our group stage as well. Oh my god, this team. Oh my god. Yo, Kiesa actually kind of helped us. I mean, hey, um, maybe the Rashford signing was bad. Now, the next season, I think I'm going to go ahead and get myself the right back uh, replacement and the left back replacement because we're going to go. We need those replacements right now as we can and try to get some more replacements because you guys can see this, this bench really sucks at the moment. But yeah, three signings, guys. I think we might as well go ahead and get our right back replacement this season, this next season, and left back. So I'll see you guys into the season number two. Welcome to season number two, guys. And as we're going to go ahead and sign our first player, it's going to be Lucas Dinge. We're going to go ahead and sign from Aston Villa for 43.500 mil. Um, this is going to be a good one. I need to upgrade Alexandro, and that's what we did. Now, we're going to also upgrade Cudrado as well. So, I'm going to be selling Cudrado probably this season as well. We have Danilo, of course, but I want to go someone stronger, a little bit different. So, as you guys could see right now, we did get that signing. So, we're going to always retire at the end of the season. So, it wouldn't even matter. We can't even sell him. So, we might as well sell Matea. Matea. Uh, either way, this season, we are leaving Juventus. Uh, so, that's going to be, uh, it's going to hit a mark. So, yeah, I'm going to re-sign this to the best players at the moment. So, like, anybody who's, uh, sorry about the background noise. So, yeah, I'm, I think we're going to go ahead and just sell, um, I don't know. I think that's what we're only going to sell because I don't even need that guy. And, uh, I'm going to see, I have a right back in mind. So, I'll be back and see if we can get our second sign. And we go ahead and sign, this is probably our last player of this, um, season Nori Mikela is going to go ahead and sign for 40 mil from Red Bull Leipzig and I also one more thing I also did into the squad is Nordi uh I, not Nordi uh Chiesa is what I'm gonna say Chiesa I forgot to um mention that we have uh just uh switched his developmental plan is what I want to say um Let's go ahead and just review that real quick. The plan we went ahead and did is the wide playmaker, like I said. Skill moves, we want to get that up. And the passing, can see if we can get that up. That's really what I want to do for this uh, up next. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and simulate, guys. I'll see you guys at the end of the January transfer window or may during the January transfer window. And I'll let you guys know if we make any transfers. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. One quick reminder of who we sold. So we sold, we signed Michele, we sold Pellegrini, sold the Descrilio guy, and Lucas Dean. So just to let you guys know that. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and continue. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and end the season. Oh, not end the season. We're in the January transfer window. Nothing's happened. No signings. I'm just going to go ahead and simulate it. Uh, as you guys can see, Kiaz has hit a 90. Only thing, actually, yeah, I did sign someone. Yeah, we had to sign the lid back because they sold him. Um, and I had to bring him back. Yeah, so as you guys can see, 140. So we kind of, ooh, we scammed him. Um, but yeah, guys, I had to bring him back, guys. Um, I, I just not going to do it without the lit. So we signed him back, three signings. That counts. Does that count? Do you guys want to count that? Let me know in the comments below. I'm probably going to count that, but either way, it's going to be a third signing. Either way, I'm going to just go ahead and simulate it. We didn't, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and simulate to the end of the season. All right, guys, we're at the end of season two. And as you guys see, Pimenta Calcio over here win the league one more time. Let's go ahead and check out Kiesa's stats before we end today. Well, not end today. Get to the next team. All right, 33 goals, 9 assists, and a 15 clean sheets. Yo, Kiesa went off, and he got the most goals this season. Rashford didn't get the most, but... He is over here getting the most goals. And, of course, wherever we go next, and I 
just picked out the team because I simulated a couple days. I don't know how we did in the other cups, so we're going to just check that out. So in the Supercopa, we're going to go ahead and win the Supercopa. The Coppa Italia, we did not win it, so we never won a Coppa Italia in Italy. So hey, our time in Italy has come. And in the Champions League, we end up winning with the rematch of PSG. We beat, okay, we beat Chelsea 4-1. And we beat Real Far 5. Okay, and what do we do with City? 1-6. Oh my goodness, we got second. Grimsby Town. Oh my god, what the hell? Grimsby Town's not even in the FIFA game. Okay. Okay, guys, so that's going to do um our time in Juventus. Now, where are we going next? Well, this is the offer we are going to go ahead and accept in FC Bayern Munich. We're going to go ahead and take our sights to Germany. Yep, it's time for a move to Germany if I can get the offer already. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Send Chiesa to Germany. See how he does. Uh, can I get the Bayern? Where's my Bayern offer? Where's my Bayern offer? There we go. Bayern. And we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and do a swamp deal. See you guys at Bayern Munich into season number three. And now, so we're into season number three. Just to let you know, Chiesa, of course, is here. We have signed him to Bayern. Oh, excuse me. Needed to sneeze. Oh, my God. Or did I even mean to put the preseason? But a couple things happened. And, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and explain one thing. We already made our first signing, as you guys probably see. We went ahead and we had to sign our boy. Well, one of my favorite players, bro. Usually in FIFA, like, in Chelsea has so many pe players in the team. Replace three players from the team. Yo, we could low-key just do that right now. We could really just do that right now. Oh, my God. We could literally just do that. Expand the COVID in Asia within two years. Oh, my God. Uh, win the cup. Okay, so we are. It's possible, but this is going to be hard because you never know who we get. So, look. Um, Mason Mount, we went ahead and signed Mason Mount. Yes, sir. Mason Mount is going to come in and sign for Bayern Munich. Uh, it's going to be our first player to sign Mason Mount coming from Chelsea, which we actually got him for a bargain. Yes, we and sold him for 80 mil, but we gave them Thomas Muller in exchange, which is kind of a better, um, you know, a better better thing to do because we could we couldn't um we couldn't do much okay um but yeah uh we're getting into season number three and for kiaza of course he's a 90 overall like i just haven't i'll be honest i haven't been came for track there's a couple things i gotta do like uh, sell a couple players like zerkski get out of here dude uh, there is no way we're going to have to keep Zerkski. Our, there's a bunch of players I'm going to probably sell. And probably, I don't know if I'm going to uh, do a swamp deal on Lewa. If I do, I probably might at this season. Uh, as you guys can see, we have so many of these. I think we're going to go ahead and make my H Jamal Musiala a cam at the moment. Because I don't want to use him as a left mid or something like that so we're going to use him as a camp that's fine with me uh he can be the backup right there uh, is there any other players we don't need this fame guy um and i think our center back position looks so good so i don't even think we need a center back we really could probably sell this my guy i don't even know we're just going to probably do this in front of you uh, and uh, a goalkeeper i think we're going to go ahead and sign a new goalkeeper too so i'll probably be back with y'all when we get to a new goalkeeper but once we get into kiaza right here Kiesa is going to go ahead. We're going to have to work on his... What do we work on? Uh, I think one thing I can do is just try my best to get that passing up to 80. Um, is really what we could do or shooting. Let's just get the shooting up and let's see how that goes. Uh, I mean, we can, yeah, how's penalties? What about penalties? I, I can't even get the penalties up. Um, Screw it. We're going to go ahead and try to get the shooting up. Support winger, not nah, wide playmaker. We're just going to go ahead and do that. So Kiesa is going to go ahead and do that uh, developmental plan. I'll probably keep no to it at uh, the end of this video, really. Uh, I'm probably just going to show the stats. Either ways, let's go ahead and keep simming. I'll be back with you on a bit if any transfers happen. No, if, uh, if we go ahead and sign our next player. We're going to go ahead and sign a new goalkeeper. Of course, like I said, we're going to have to get rid of Manuel Neuer and get Unai Simon. We're signing him for um, a five-year deal for 60 mil, actually. That he's what he's worth. He's actually worth, as you guys can see, 
uh, 50 mil, but he would have been worth a lot. But th we're going to go ahead and give them Athletic Bilbao. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give them um, New Year. Yeah, New Year. Um, so, I, I think it's a win-win deal. Let's be honest. So, yeah, I'm going to keep simming. And I'll see you guys a little bit later, I think, till season number... Not season, but I, I think one more transfer and see if we can get Levo's replacement. But, yeah, continue. And this is going to be the last signing of this season. Tammy Abraham is going to go ahead and join us for approximately 80.600 mil. I, I literally forget how much we signed him for. But we signed him for a lot. Uh, yeah, we signed him for like 80 something, 89 for, and we gave him a player. So that does help us in um, at all. That does really help us. As you guys can see, we have 3.9 mil. And uh, that actually really helps us. Um, now, as you guys can see, he's going to be a bench player. So either ways, when Lewandowski retires, they have Abraham. So it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's go ahead and simulate the season. I'll see you guys at the end of the trains window real quick. Okay, so there is a couple things I do want to say. Uh, so this is the team, as you guys could see, the final team as we're going to end this transfer window business. So let's just go ahead and recap the squad. And as you guys could see, we have sold Abraham. I mean, we got Abraham for this much. We put Offman at loan, sold Xerxy, we sold Fane, and got, Man uh, got Unai Simon, and got Mason Mount. So these were really much of the, the stuff. We had to get rid of the old. Now... Lewandowski is going to stay for the season, and we'll just see how he does by the next season. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get it to the end of the season, because I don't think we need a recap for January and stuff. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So, the actually. season was not good at all. As you guys can see, we reached 7th place um, from what I'm looking at. And, Kiesa, let's see how Kiesa did the season and, um from Lewandowski, 28 goals, so he basically tied up with Lewandowski, 10 goals in the Champions League, uh, to assist, okay, so 5, so he went 28, 5, and 4 clean sheets, Lewandowski over here was playing good his season, and remember, Lewandowski has, oh my god, so Tammy Abraham barely even scored goals this season, that's crazy, He's, he is a higher overall now, so we don't really need Lewandowski, now I know that two players will be leaving this season, uh, after the season, which would be Lucas Hernandez and Kingsley Coleman, uh, so that's gonna hurt, kind of, but we have Upham Kano, uh, who will be replacing Hernandez in the center back position and we'll probably see if we can go ahead and get ourselves a like a stronger bench maybe like a new left mid or left winger or something like that we'll figure it out but anyways guys that was season number three not the best oh yeah oh okay hold up we it says we won the champions league and oh, hold up hold up hold up hold up and we're gonna go ahead and check out the Pokal as well we end up winning the Bocal 2-1, okay, so we actually did make it far, okay. So we did good in the other titles, Super Cup, we win that, okay, and the Champions League, how about that? And we did win the Champions League beating Bayern Munich, oh my god, we won 6-2, ah, damn. So beating Milan in the final, we did win another Champions League with another team. Let's see how season number 4 does for Chiesa, let's get to it. Uh, I did not see. Did he only go up by one overall? That's what I'm actually curious about. Did he only go up by one? Okay, he did. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the end of the next or next season. Let's get to our transfers. I'll see you guys. Later. So we go ahead and make our first signing. As we go ahead and sign Jack Grealish for the left winger position backup. He's going to be the backup now since Kingsley Coleman decided to leave. We signed him for 80 mil. So yeah, we had to go ahead and get Jack Grealish. I, I couldn't think of any other left wingers. He's going to be a successor for Sané. So I think we're going to make like two more transfers this season. So we're going to do the all three. I think I'm going to go ahead and get Lewandowski uh, like a prompt deal. And then I'm trying to see if I can get Sabatiza out of here as well. Um, either way, let's go ahead and try to put a developmental plan on Kiesa. I want Kiesa to be a, a, at least a 94 by the end of this. Or something. A high 90, though. A high 90 would be nice. Okay, so, uh, I, I think we could go ahead... I mean, the passing... The passing, we could just go ahead and just keep working on that. Um, passing, get all that stuff up. His dribbling is good, bro. I, I really don't know what to work in. I mean... We could go with this, getting the curves up and stuff, stamina. I, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. We got to get that up.
all right guys so let's go ahead and do this i'll see you guys at the end well the next transfer so be back with y'all guys all right we went ahead and got julian alvarez to go ahead and replace uh lewandowski he's gonna be the striker fc bayern we're gonna switch him up that's the player we're gonna go ahead and go for 42 mil gave the lewandowski to man city uh because lewandowski was gonna keep on Decreased it overall. We had to get a backup. Julian Alvarez and Tammy Abraham got to fulfill. And then we're going to go ahead and sign our last player to the squad, which is going to be this player. Up. So I went ahead and signed the last player. Yuri Tielemans is going to go ahead and sign from Real Madrid for 130 mil. Bro, we're going all out a little bit. So this season, this is going to be last season in Bayern. And then the next season, and then the next club is going to be our last club. So we got to go. We had to make it right and see how it goes. And this is the club. So the thing is, this club got to become better. It's just the only issue probably is Simon not like improving, maybe. Because yes, we did get rid of our goalkeeper, um, Manuel Neuer, and um, it, it just didn't work, you know. Uh, so we had to get Simon. Let's hope Simon does good. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate, guys, and I'll see you guys. It's a go ahead. Uh, it's a season. The end of the season because we already got our transfers. I think we're just going to go all in, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Let's go ahead and get to the end of the season. All right, guys. As we guys can see, we got fifth. This doesn't look great. Um, the browser jobs. Okay, so Italy wants us. Great. I don't even want to go to Italy, but I'm going to just keep simming until we get an offer we want. Um, but I don't think we're going to get the offer since we're like under 67, so... Yeah, like, if it, it really, really pisses me off, probably, that if we don't get an offer, we're going to stay at Bayern next season, which I don't want. So, if I don't get an offer, I probably might end the episode here, because we don't want to go to Italy. I, I would like to go to the Prem. I should have went to the Prem. It, it might have to go back to Italy. Or we just go to another club in Germany. And I think we're going to another club in Germany, baby. I I, I guess so. Because Bayern has not done great in this whole video. Okay, there you go. There you go. Um, Arsenal. Chelsea. Go on Liverpool. I'm going to Liverpool. Yep, yeah, Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Let's go ahead and um, let's. Yeah, Liverpool is gonna be the last one. Come on, come on, stop! Stop the offer! Stop the offer! Stop it! Ah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh my god, oh my god, I forgot to accept, alright, so guys, we're going to Liverpool, but before we do, let me just go ahead and review the season, as you guys can see, 5th place to Europa League, that's fine, Pokal, um, we win the Pokal, let's get it, the Super Cup, did we win that? Yes, we did, and we also win the, we won the Super Cup, okay, that's another one, and the Champions League, okay, so Bayern's won everything but the Bundesliga, we've always struggled here, so, yeah, it's all cool. Chiesa, let's see, he's only one up by one. And he's uh, 26 goals, 8 assists, and 7 clean sheets. Was that the most of the team? It was. All right, so we're going to keep simming. See you guys into Liverpool. We're going to get into that season. I'll be back with y'all in a bit. So we're in a new season, and yes, we have decided to go ahead and join Liverpool. Yes, Liverpool, you guys know. Uh, I think Chiesa was linked to this club at one point, so I'm not really sure if it's going to be a great decision. Anyways, Wilford and Didi is going to be the first player we sign either ways, and um, uh, we just swapped Salah out because, first off, Salah is no longer... Uh, no, no, Salah. Uh, if Salah was still here, then Chiesa probably would have get a game time, even though he's a higher overall, because, you know, FIFA's weird. Alright. But yeah, we, um... We went ahead and, uh, just did it, and... Let's go ahead and, um... Just check out Chiesa. What are we gonna do with him? And I think we're just gonna go ahead 
And I think the shoot the passing looks good. The passing looks good enough. Shooting we could go higher, bro. Let's just, we can just go higher. So let's go for it. And I think that's going to be Kiaza right there for the season. Try to get him to 93. I think he'll probably be a 94 by the end of the season. Probably the worst. He's worth the most uh, here. So, yes, you have Jota, 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 Kiaza, and Diaz at the, at the forward, which is going to be good. And then we have Edidi, who we just signed from Leicester City. So, I can't sell really any players because these players are kind of important at the moment for this club. So... I think what we're going to go ahead and do is just sign a center bid and probably a backup if I can, if I have the money. I'm just going to go ahead and continue, sign that player, and I'll be back for you on the And bid. we're just going to go ahead and just sign our last signing. I don't think we're going to make any more signings unless we go to January. So Ruben Diaz is going to go ahead and be the player we sign it. That's all we're going to do because we can't sell any players. I think I'm just going to go all in. We're going to simulate the season and see how it does. Now, if I do go make a cut to January, I probably have might sign a player by January and see what happens because this squad really needs the help that I can get. Seriously, look at this squad. Um... I think that, like, look at the forwards, but, like, the bench looks weak. It's just Elliot, Mihalovic, was who's really good. Kieta, I, we don't even have a backup goalkeeper, and it's all good. I don't need one. So, yeah, if I could sign some players on the free, that would be better. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Let's see how Liverpool does in season number one. What is up, everybody? Angry World Cup Gaming here. And why did I act like it was a beginning of a video? No. <laughs> Sorry. I've been messing up the, throughout the whole video because this video is actually taking longer than I expected. This is probably going to be just a one-off video then. If I ever do this again, I'd do it again. So, yes. Uh, let's go ahead and check out your boy, um, Kieza. I mean, as we're at the end of this season. As he hits a 197. Oh, okay, he's worth a lot. And his stats. 22 goals, 2 assists, 14 clean sheets. And I believe that's the most goals scored by this team. As all also, we have also reached Champions League. This team has reached Champions League. So we got second on the Prem, which I'm going to go ahead and take. If it's Prem action, we'll take it. Uh, I mean, with the signings, that actually does help us because this team was in six. We didn't win the FA Cup. How did, it, how, did, how, did, how did we win it? I don't even know where we got eliminated. I'm not going to look. Kabaro Cup. Did we win the Kabaro Cup? We did not win the Kabaro Cup. We made it to the quarterfinals. Listen to uh, Manchester City. And I believe we were in the Europa League which we lost to Real Madrid. Okay, so we lost to the winners. Anyways, I'm just going to go for it. We'll get to the next season. Make the last three signings if we can. I'm going to probably just go for a center back signing. A center back signing, and uh, if I can, maybe a left back signing if it's possible. Anyways, I'll see you guys in to the next and last season. So, we're into the next season, and I decided we might as just go ahead and sign everybody. I literally just signed Wingers. Wingers. That's all I've signed this season. Yep. And uh, for this, um, this is probably the season he's going to hit a uh, fuck. Uh, not, not, I don't want to curse. A uh, 94. So, we're just going to go with that and get that defensive thing up. Um, either ways, I think this is going to be looking good um from our, our book uh we've only made we made all of our three signings so let's just go ahead and re-sign uh kiaza kiaza did kiaza get a release clause i swear to god he better now okay so let's just go ahead and see really i'm just gonna go ahead and introduce you guys to the next three signings and this is gonna be the last signing so i can end the video because this video is probably long enough douglas louise with 58 mil uh p well we're not gonna count this but paul pogba he's on a free agent i should be a little bit more specific on free agents yeah if it's a free agent free agent so no Carlos Solar, he's going to go ahead and sign for an email. Those are going to be the signings. I'm, uh, I'm fine with them. I'm going to go ahead and simulate. I'll see you guys at the end of the season, and let's get to it. All right, guys. As you guys can see, we have finished the season. First place, 86. Uh, so we ended up winning the Prem, and I think we won the Champions League. As you guys could just see that. Oh, my God. So, um... But bam, let's go ahead and check it out. So under six years, we've done accomplished a lot. FA Cup though, we have done a two and one. Okay, Champions League, and we go ahead and win a two four win. Okay, um, that's fine. I mean, we won the FA Cup and the Champions League, uh, and the Champions League and the Prem, the Cabaro Cup. We didn't win. Now I re record this part because I forgot to mention on uh, one thing. So. Let's see how Chiesa has finished out. So he's hit a 94 overall with, okay, 30 goals this season. Tying with Luis Diaz, 10 assists and 13 clean sheets. Really, really good player. Worth 209 mil at the end of it. But uh, I at the screen probably now, or I don't know when, you're going to go ahead and see uh, what are his stats. I'm probably going to list them in the screen. 
how many goals he's gotten in the season, how many assists and clean sheets. I'm just going to let you guys know, I think he has had really good of a career for six seasons. And I think the best team he's done with is Juventus, as Liverpool, he didn't really do much. Either way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's episode here. Thank you guys for watching. The, not this episode, but this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm sorry the uploads took long. is because I've been trying to record this. And these this actually took a while than I expected it to. So, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.